viral worthy titles. Whether it's for YouTube videos or any form of content, SEO, blog post, or website titles, we all know or should know the importance of titles. Wait, what? The first 60 to 120 characters that people see determine everything. Meaning, does your content deserve more attention? And unfortunately, this is where Game most people over. fail. But for you, not today. And thanks to AI, you now have the power to turn a boring title into a catchy and maybe a viral piece of content. But after I did create it, I started sharing it more and more with people who reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one online consultations. Book your one-on-one -on -one consultation too. Many of them content creators or business owners themselves. And the results they've all been getting have been very impressive. Just check the description. And so today, I'm gonna share all of this with you. And so in today's video, I'll be demonstrating this for a YouTube title but do remember, this strategy can be used for anything across the board. And so now to start, we're gonna head over here to my Mega Prompts database. I'll also include this prompt via the links in the description. For the most amazing prompts and prompts databases, click the links in the description. Up in the center, we're gonna click on these new tabs. We are gonna select the social media YouTube one. And this one is specifically called title rating one through 10 plus 10 better ones. This is gonna be amazing. Let's go ahead and click to open the whole entire thing. Now, here is the full prompt right here. All we have to do is just come in here and simply just copy all of it, just like that. And so for the next step, we're gonna use a series of LLMs. You can use just one, but in this case, I like to use more than one. Let me show you exactly why. Now, I'm gonna show you an example from my personal YouTube creator. I use Airtable to script all of my videos and even my blog post. So here are my most recent uploads right here. If I click the one right here that says Canva AI Faves, let's go ahead and expand this whole entire thing, okay? This was a video Video that was uploaded a couple of weeks ago. Now, the thing we're looking at specifically is going to be these checked boxes right here in the middle. Now, the reason why I did use more than one LLM is because I want to take the best overall score I got and then take the average, and then that will be the actual title I'm gonna use. So for an example, if we look at just the first one, ChatGPT gave it an eight, Claude gave it an eight, Gemini eight, and then Grok nine. Now, if this doesn't make sense, no worries, because what we're gonna do right now is actually do this in real time. Okay, so now since I have my prompt copied, go ahead and paste it in to any LLM. Now, we're gonna do it here in ChatGPT, but now I'm also gonna open up Claude, Gemini, and also Grok. Okay, now I have them copied and pasted in each one. Here is the first thing the LLM is gonna ask you. What is your current title or titles? Don't worry if it's not good at all. We're gonna allow the AI to give us the perfect one. So to keep it simple, let's just go ahead and type out about three titles, okay? Okay, because the first thing we want to do is get these ranked. They can be as generic as possible. So here's the first one. These are the best AI Canva apps. Very easy and basic, probably not gonna generate many clicks. Okay, so there we have it. There are the three we're gonna go with, okay? Three very simple titles. Go ahead and now select Enter. Now, while ChatGPT is thinking, we're gonna do the same exact thing in Claude. Here we have it. I pasted these same exact titles in Claude, and now Claude is gonna get to work. And now remember, we're also gonna do it in Grok as well, okay? Paste those titles in Grok just like this. And now let's head over to Gemini. You can see in Gemini itself as well, it already understood what it's supposed to do. So let's paste those three generic titles in here as well. Now, we have four AIs doing all of the work for us. If we don't get the perfect title the first round, that's okay. In fact, I would suggest not to depend on any of the first titles, and I'll show you exactly why. Because already, we're gonna get some additional ones, okay? Now, let's go to Claude. Let's look at the first ones it gave us. Here are my three generic ones, okay? Now, look at this. The scores aren't too good. Five out of 10, seven out of 10, six out of 10. Now, what I like to do is I like to open up a brand new air table so I can keep track of these scores. So there are my three original ones right there. Here are my scores from Claude, five out of 10, seven out of 10, and six out of 10. Now my rule, I will only keep titles that get a seven or higher in the beginning process. So with that being said, this one in the middle, I am gonna keep by coming over here and now giving this one a check mark, okay? So there are the original ones for Claude. Now, before we take a look at their 10X ones, let's see what ChatGPT has to say. Here are their rankings. Okay, now this one in the middle, they gave this one a score of eight out of 10. So we're gonna leave this one check marked, okay? The one at the bottom, seven awesome Canva apps you should try, that gets a seven out of 10. So let's check this one. The first one is gonna go away. Now we've narrowed it down to only two. 
but we're not stopping there. Back to ChatGPT. Now let's scroll down and see the ones that they created that are much more highly optimized, all getting a nine to 10 score, okay? We have everything from number one all the way down to number 10, just like this. Claude, same thing. Let's scroll down. And now when it comes to Claude, Claude, I feel like is a little bit harsher with the scores. So let's come over here and also look at these that we get from Claude. Now we have 20 titles that we can choose from so far. But remember, I don't suggest doing that quite yet. Let's first see what Gemini gave us, the scores that we have. Now, Gemini, the common denominator is this middle one, keeps getting a 10. We're gonna leave that one. And now Gemini gave us all of these other titles to choose from. And now let's go to Grok. Again, very consistent. That middle title is either getting a seven or an eight out of a 10. And now here are the ones that Croc suggested that are going to do much better. So I'm going to go ahead and stop using Gemini and Grok for now. These were only here to serve as an example. And so moving forward, what we'll do now is we'll just stick to Claude and Chat GPT. So the next step is this. And we have two titles we're going to keep. We're going to use the process of elimination. Let's first come over here in the Chat GPT and pick out a few more titles we think might do a good job. And what I'm going to do is take some of my favorites and add these into my database. For an example, I'll take number one and then I'll also take number five. Okay. One, three, and five. Okay. So now you can see, I went ahead and pasted these in here now. Okay. And now here's what we're going to do. We're first going to go back to Claude and then take a look at their titles to see if we want to add any of these. Number four might be good and number five might be good. Okay. And now we're going to add these two as well. Now what we're going to do is come back in here, deselect all of these, copy the whole entire thing right here. Okay. Now we have one, two, three, seven titles in total that we have now copied. Let's go back over to chat GPT and now simply say this, how about these question mark, and now paste all of these titles in. Okay. Once I'm in chat GPT, I'm going to copy this conversation question, go back over to Claude and say the same exact thing. How about these? Now what we have here is the process of elimination to find that perfect title. So utilizing both LLMs, now we're going to get even better scores. For an example, the first set of scores I got were horrendous, okay? Six, eight, and seven. And you can see over here in Claude, it's even worse. Five, seven, and six. But now as we scroll down and I pasted these new ones in, look at this. I said, how about these? Now our scores are have gotten much better. Now, our original ones still aren't performing that well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the one that says seven awesome Canva apps, okay? So goodbye, seven awesome Canva apps. That one is eliminated. Back over to Claude. Let's go down and look at the scores of these other ones. Now, since I'm getting higher scores, I am only gonna keep the scores that have an eight or higher. And now only check mark the ones we're gonna keep. So those are the three that Claude liked. Let's see if ChatGPT thought the same. But before we do that, let me go ahead and rank each one so I can keep up with the actual scores, okay? So if I went down here, the one that says stop is getting an eight out of 10. So I need to make sure I notate that because this is gonna be important to keep up, okay? So I'm just gonna put an eight right here, put a comma for ChatGPT, and now let's go back to the other two to see what these got. Seven game-changing ones got an 8.5, and then the ones above it got a seven. Okay. Okay, beautiful. And now let's take a look at these scores. Now, right off the bat, I could see that this one has gotten a nine out of a 10, the top five AI Canva apps that will change your design. Okay, nine out of 10, that deserves a check mark. And now there is the score there. Back to ChatGPT, and we're gonna only keep the ones that got an eight or an higher. So since Claude didn't give that an eight, I'm not even gonna use this one anymore. So it is also gone as well. Back to chat GBT and let's see. Now we have a lot of high scores here. Wow. Everything below from four to number seven is going to be an eight. 8.5, 9.5, and now a nine. Incredible. Let's bring these side by side so it's easier to organize all of this. Okay, so top five gets a nine. Seven Canva apps will make your designs unbeatable. This also got an eight. So we can remove this one. This is going to make it much easier to finally decide on a title. Okay, and now we come down to number six, a 9.5 in chat GPT, seven game changing Canva. Okay, that's a 9.5. That might be the winner. And then the one that says stop is also going to get a nine. Okay, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at our scores. 
and remove the one that is only a 16. So right off the bat, that's not gonna be a winner. And either is the one at the very top, nine and 7.5. Remember, we wanna keep the ones with the highest scores to start this process. And here are our final two. Let's go ahead and now copy these. And what we're gonna do is one last time, just to be sure, we're gonna do this process one more time. How about these, question mark, and now paste these in, okay? Copy the whole entire conversation right here. And we're gonna paste this same exact question over into ChatGPT. In ChatGPT, now paste it in over here. Let's see what the final results are. This will now determine what our chosen title is gonna be. Okay, down into ChatGPT, who is the winner on this one? Now I like this because it gives me my strength and my weakness for each title. Title number one, initial rating, 8.5, 9.5, adjusted score is a nine out of a 10. Title number two, eight and nine, the adjusted score is an 8.5 out of 10. So interesting how these both worked out. Okay, so we're gonna start this process over with the scores and put a nine. And now remember this one right here got an 8.5. So, so far we have one that's just barely winning. Now in Claude, let's see what we got in Claude for these final two titles. Seven game-changing Canva AI apps got an 8.5. And then the one that says stop got an eight. Okay, let's enter that in. And here we have it. We can already see who is going to win. It is going to be seven game-changing Canva AI apps that make you look like a pro designer. Okay, very good. Now, just to see, I can scroll down again and see, which I won't, but you can keep the process continuing because every time it ranks your titles, it's gonna continue to give you 10 more over and over and over again. That way, you'll eventually find the one that you want. And as I scroll down chat GPT, we get a different suggestion where we can either tell chat GPT to keep going or we can just say, let's go ahead and finalize these. So with that said, those are our final two scores. Let's stick to those two. But if I want my final title, to be 60 characters or less, I'm gonna put it in my final title right here and we could see right now it's 68. I need to get it down to 60 and you can easily change up some of the wording and so you could see how you can adjust it to where now it is only 54 characters but it's still relatively the same sort of concept. Seven game-changing Canva AI apps to become a pro designer. So that might not be my final one necessarily but you get the picture on how you can continue to kind of re write this, even put this back in the chat GPT and ask it, here is my title. Please keep it similar, but I need it to be 60 characters or less. Paste in that full title that's longer than that. And now chat GPT is going to do all the work for you, giving you five titles. And now it's going to give you the character count over here on the right hand side. So that is how you can continue this process over and over again by letting AI do all the work until you finally get the perfect one that you want. So remember, links are in the description. And if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. But thank you so much for watching. Perfect.